This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 19 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle Moments Healing and Blessing Festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com Our email godslove at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. So during Sifa night, his name was called Francis. Uh -huh. And the Lord said that somebody who has a problem with his feet, a lump on his feet. Francis, God tells me every weakness in your feet will leave today, Francis. And the Lord touched him on Sifa night and he's healed. The mark is there, but he's completely healed, Pastor. All the lump has gone, son. All the lump has gone. You can stamp your feet. You can, you can hit your feet without that slipper. Yeah. All that lump and pain, everything gone. Your name is Francis. It's Francis. Move it again, sir. You feel fine, huh? Lovely boy you are. Lift your hand to Jesus, sir. Come, child. Pastor, this is Corinne. For a very long time, Pastor, and all her ten fingers, she had severe pain. She couldn't bend them. She said during the service right now, all that pain, all that discomfort... Completely gone, child. Pastor. You can move your fingers, you can move your... And you were the one, sometime you had a lump and you had a bandage. That was also... You are a testimony girl. Now your hands have been healed. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Charles. He had a back pain for two months and tonight... He realized suddenly the pain has gone and he's completely healed, Pastor. Bless you, son. Can you bend down for me, child? And move up and all, my son. You can swing this way, that way. They don't know what a testimony is, some of them. I tell you. Sweet boy. Pastor, this is Christy. Since today morning, she's been having severe muscle pain in both her legs with a lot of discomfort. Today, during the service, the Lord Jesus has completely healed her, Pastor. Completely fine. If I give you a soccer ball, can you kick it to the one who is sleeping there? Can you move your leg? If you kick like this, the ball, how do you do a goal? Huh? My darling child, you can move it. Swing it. All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. Lift your hand to Jesus. Pastor, for God. one week, she had ulcers on the tongue on both sides. Tonight the Lord healed her completely. The pain is gone. The ulcers have disappeared. Completely from the gone. All the ulcers. I look fine, my daughter. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Pastor, this is Annette. For the past one week, she's been suffering with high fever and back pain. She's been taking medication but not responding to medication. But today during the service, Pastor, all that pain, discomfort, fever is completely gone. She's been healed. You're healed now. Some people say Dr. Jesus. He's not a doctor. 
Dr. Dill and Healer Jesus. Uh, healer Jesus. This is a doctor. Jesus has healed you. All the back pain is gone. You can bend down. Go up. My God. You can swim. Do you swim? You swim when there is water, you swim? With water. Ah, but I can also swim without water. Ah, Jesus loves you. Come. Pastor, for four days she's been suffering with pain in the tonsils. Tonight the Lord healed her of that pain. Completely it's all gone. My daughter, when you call him, he will always. All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. He is your friend and your healer. Pastor, this is your son. Pastor, this is Alan. For two weeks he's been suffering with chest congestion. The mother told me in faith while you were praying, he placed his hand on his chest himself and believed in his healing. And right now, all that chest congestion is completely gone, Complete. Pastor. All is gone, Dan. Everything is gone. All the pain is gone, Ash. Pastor, yes. since early this morning, she's been having muscle pain in both the legs. Jesus healed her completely. All the pain no, is your gone. Legs, child. Well, it's very good. What is good? <laughs> uh, all your legs, everything is fine, child. All the pain is gone, daughter. Loves you, child. Pastor, this is Daisy. For one week, she suffered with severe tooth pain. But today during that service, on the, on the left-hand side, but today during the service, she's been completely All the faster. pain is gone, child. Gum pain, tooth pain, it's all gone, child. Everything gone. Jesus loves you. Lift your hand to Jesus. Then sings my soul, my Savior, my Savior. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing for your child, for our child, for our children, for our family, for our physical health, for our finance, for our future. Receive, 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 receive it all, receive it all, receive it all. He loves you. How great thou art, my God, my God, my God. How great thou art. Luke's Gospel, chapter 13. Luke's Gospel, chapter 13. He loves you. He loves you. My dear children. He was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosened from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. My dear children, my blessed children, when God, when God performs a miracle, my loving children, I remember one girl, she had to leave her job because of acute chest pains and whatever. She couldn't continue to work. That girl was with tears of joy. Jesus healed her instantly. Instant healing. My loving children. God is the one who wipes your tears. Suppose you get that, you get that pain and you are not able to breathe in the night. And you have to go to office in the morning and you have to leave your work. How will you feel? Would you sit here and just hear me? Instead, lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. He went into that synagogue because he encountered such people who don't know the power of God, who don't know value, the value of the power of God, who don't know the pain of someone's misery and tears. He went in there. The Bible says his adversaries were put to shame. My such ministries are rising now in Jesus' name. My loving children, tears of multitudes will be wiped away before your eyes and my eyes. 
because he is the one who loves everyone. He is the one who cares for everyone. He is the one who helps everyone. He is the one who heals anyone who has been let down by everyone. He is the one who lifts up everyone who is oppressed by anyone, my loving child. Are you oppressed today in your workplace? Are you oppressed in your body? Are you oppressed because of your family situations? Are you oppressed, my loving child, because someone has dearly tormented your life? He is here to lift, lift you. Every disease will leave today. Every sickness will leave today. Every fear will leave today, my beloved ones. He is here today. If you are bowed down, he is coming to you by your side. This is the table that lifts everyone in Jesus' name. As you say, God, I am coming to be cleansed. I want to be lifted up in life. My child, tonight you will be lifted up. The lifter is Jesus. Lift your hands to him. The savior is Jesus. Lift your hands to him. The healer is Jesus. Lift your hands to him. The cleanser is Jesus. Lift your hands to him. He is here today. He will cleanse me and cleanse you. He will forgive me further and forgive you by his blood. And he will heal you. And he will heal me right here in this place. How many of you are ready for it? He went just for that woman into that synagogue. They didn't believe in miracles. You can see those fellows there. They were all seated in numbers. They never believed in miracles. They never believed in signs. They never believed in what did they believe? My, my loving children. They didn't believe in healing. They didn't believe in love. They didn't believe in forgiveness. They didn't believe in kindness. They didn't believe in holiness. They didn't believe in purity. They didn't believe in power. What did they believe? My loving child, God only knows. He is the judge. He is the savior. When Jesus wanted to help someone, who was bowed down for 18 years. He bowed down for 18. She couldn't speak on her behalf. There was no one to defend her. There was no one to plead her case. Look at the plight of this woman. My loving child, no one to plead her case. No one to speak on her behalf. No one to pray with her. No one to stand with her. My loving child, isolated, despondent, kept out somewhere in the church. My dear child, because there was an unbelieving crowd, my loving children. My beloved children, thank God you and I are not that by the grace of Jesus today. How many of you believe in miracles? How many of you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? What do and I believe? What do you really believe? What do you really believe? Are you a believer? You and I will say yes. Oh, but what do you really believe? Who your God is? Who is your God that you believe? What has he done for you to believe him? My darling child, have you ever asked that question to yourself and myself? He is here today. Who oh, he say we are believers. What do we really believe in? Whom do we really believe in? My loving child. He went to a person who had no one to believe on her behalf. Who had no one to call on her behalf. Who had no one to plead on her behalf. Who had no one to defend on her behalf. Who had no one to love her. My loving child. He went straight into that synagogue. And called her. My loving. If you, have, if you are here. My dear child, no one to love you, no one to appreciate you, no one to commend you, no one to acknowledge how, who God is in your life. If you, if you are here today, my loving child, no one caring for you, no one even takes a care on you. If you have money, if you have position, if you have a talking of, if you have a talking uh, habit, oh my uh, gift of the gap, they say, my loving children. They will look at you. They will be after you. But when you are bowed down in life, unable to express your sorrow, unable to express your pathetic situation, unable to express and plead your case, the greatest and the only good advocate will come on your behalf. Jesus of Nazareth. 
He is the only advocate at the right hand of the Father. You don't need a man. You don't need a woman. You don't need money. You don't need a position. You don't need charisma. You don't need show. You don't need performance. You don't need music. You don't need nothing. But the one who rose from the dead. But the one who rose from the dead, he will come by your side. He will come by your side. He doesn't appreciate what the majority appreciates. He doesn't, of my loving child, do what the majority says. If you are the only one who has been oppressed, who has been discarded, who has been despondent, who has no defense, he is on your side. Because he took all your sin and my sin on that cross. He took all your death and my death on that cross. He took all your curse and my curse on that cross. He took all your loneliness and my loneliness on that cross. He took all your sin and my sin on that cross. He took all every punishment that I deserve or you deserve on himself at the cross. Streams of Miracle Life is Pastor Dale's latest book. Every module in this book is anointed with the power of God and his truth. There are also testimonies and praise reports that confirm God's living word. As you read this book, believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall have life and life in abundance. He took your death and my death on that cross. So if you are the only one, he will still come to you. He will still come to you. No condemnation. These fellows were furious. Why? They didn't believe in miracles. They, did, they, were, they, they got irritated when signs, wonders, miracles are happening. My darling child, my beloved ones, he's here too. That's why the Bible says how angry Jesus was. He didn't say, oh, they are poor people. After all, they are also human beings. After all, I'm going to die for them also. No, after all, business with Jesus. You believe or be damned. How? Mark 16. Those who don't believe, what does Jesus say? The right translation, they shall be damned. Read Mark 16 verse 20. He who believes will be saved. And he who does not believe, I will talk to him later after the service. No. Believe in miracles. Be in places where miracles are. Appreciate ministries that are full of signs, wonders, miracles and instant healings and testimonies. Giving him the glory and no one else. Lift your hands to the son of God. He loves those who love him and his ministry. It is Jesus' ministry that you and I could ever do on this earth. It is Jesus' life that you and I must ever have on this earth. It is Jesus' love that you and I must ever exhibit on this earth. It is Jesus' purity that you and I must manifest on this earth. It is Jesus' victory that you and I ever enjoy and have on this earth. It is Jesus' healing and wholeness that you and I will have and must have on this earth until rapture it is all jesus as how he is at the right hand of the father so are you and i on this earth first john 4 17 he loves you just went to call that woman and said woman you are loosed from every spirit of infirmity my beloved darling children no matter what you face, no matters. Oh, you are dear children. Yes, I will believe. Yes, I will believe. I believe. My beloved ones, do you believe what he has done for you? Do you believe that he has forgiven you? Do you believe that he has loosened you? Do you believe that he has defeated Satan and hell and curse and disease and death and all works of the enemy for your sake and my sake? Do you believe that he has opened the doors for you? Do you believe that no sin can stand against you? Do you believe that no accusation can stand against you? Do you believe that all the doors are open because Jesus has all the door keys in himself? Do you believe my loving? Do you believe what God has done for you? Do you believe my loving child? Even with little you can have plenty and even with plenty you can have still little in your life. How many of you understand this wisdom? Even with little you can have plenty and even with plenty you will still have little. I can speak better wisdom than Solomon because I am washed by the blood of Jesus. So is every servant of God. My, so is every servant of God. 
if you believe in him and not yourself or myself. He is here today. You are, your little can be plenty enough for you. Do you believe that he has won the victory for you? Do you believe that no weapon against you can prosper? Do you believe that he will lead you by the side of still waters? Even the little can be plenty for you. And your plenty can be still little for you. My darling children, it is Jesus who gives and it is Jesus who abounds. It is Jesus who forgives. It is Jesus who heals. It is Jesus who cleanses. It is Jesus who always justifies you and me. He is here today. He just went to that woman. He said, woman, you are loosened. He didn't stand and ask her past history. He didn't say what she did missed to do when she was 14 years he didn't stand there and tell her what she missed to say what she missed to believe she said you are loosened my loving child you and me have a blessed future from now in jesus name from no matter what you face here, yeah, I am not interested, nor is my God interested. Because it is his interest that I bring forth. I have nothing on my own because I am nothing. My loving children, you are going to be blessed. Do you know that your children are going to be blessed? Do you know that your generation is going to be blessed? Do you know that no disease, no sickness, no death will ever come near your home? Do you know that you are going to live blessed? It is not money. It is not dollars. It is not land. It is not house. God, I just depend on what you have done for me and not what I have done, God. It is what you have done for me. It's by your mercy that I live. It's by your grace that I live. It's by your forgiving love that I live. It is by your power that I live. My loving child, everything he has given you, a good home he has given, a good health he has given, a good power of the Holy Spirit he has given. Everything is good even though I am bad. He is the good person. Lift your hands to him. Woman, you are loosened. That's all he said. He put his hand on her to assure her, I am with you. I am with you in your future. All alone, you struggled without me. That was your past. He put his hand on her just to tell her, not only the door is open, not only you are loosened, I am coming with you. So two truths tonight. What he has done for you. You may be struggling in your finances, struggling in your family, struggling in your physical health, struggling because of your children's needs and worries, struggling, my darling child, anywhere. But Jesus tells me and tells you that your future and my future are blessed today. We are loosened. No more defeated fear. No more defeated doubt. For goodness sake, God's sake, glory's sake, believe in miracles. Don't believe like that with those people. I don't know what they believed. My loving children. My beloved children. We must be Christians who are like Christ. Following him. My dear children. Believe there is a miracle every moment in your life. Believe there is a joy every moment in your life. Believe there is life every moment in your life. Believe he has forgiven me and you. And our, he has loosened me and you now. Not to go alone. Past was alone. Future is with him. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. My dearest child, you are loosened. I am loosened. Your past, what you struggled, stops right here. Every sorrow, every fear, every defeated death, every defeated sin, every defeated agony in your life, in your family. Believe, 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 believe. For God's sake, believe. My loving child. Jesus is coming with you from now onwards. That's why he put his hand. He could have said, go, you are blessed. No. He knows how lonely she was. He knows how much Terrified she was in life. She, he knows how much she suffered. I'm with you. He put his hand on her. 
I am with you now. I am with you now. Even though I have loosened you, I am not letting you go alone. I am coming with you. I am coming in you. He is here today. John 14, 17. Loves you. The Bible says, Immediately she was made straight. In the moment he put his hand on her. In me the power of God. The power of his oneness. Oh he who is joined with the Lord. Is one in spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.17 One in spirit. No difference of language. No difference of any thought. Those who differentiate on language. You are cursed people. My loving children. You differentiate because of any other reason. You are cursed people. The one who loves everyone alike is Jesus. Lift your hands to him. Jesus loves you. And my books are there. Jesus Christ heals even now. Jesus Christ heals even now my book, my latest book on rapture. My beloved people, everyone washed by the blood of Jesus, everyone who loves Jesus is going to be taken up in midair very soon. We are going to be raptured as we live on this earth in these coming long years. We are going to go into our Father's mansions. He is going to come in midair to take us rapturous my latest book on rapture don't miss that and my powerful book because jesus lives you will live also because jesus lives you will live also and then streams of miracle life streams of miracle life get these books my magazines every three months we put out magazines signs wonders and miracles every three months we send them internationally and it's full of credible documented evidences of god's instant miracle healing works testimonies praise reports in our magazines you can send your request we'll get it across to you signs wonders and miracles magazines all our miracles it's increasing John 14, 12, greater works, greater works now until rapture. It's increasing, it's increasing. We will send you our magazines, signs, wonders and miracles. Send us your prayer requests, send us your requests. We will pray with tears and you will receive your miracle. We love you and more than us, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you and you can watch us on various television channels as well. Jesus loves you. See you again and Jesus loves you.